Hi, I'm Sonia Schaefer with Simply Charlotte Mason, and this is my friend, Rochelle Baborana. I've enjoyed learning about Charlotte Mason's methods over the years through her original writings. But one subject she doesn't touch on very much in her original writings, and that is the subject of mathematics. In fact, often when I would read in volume three, when Charlotte said, I need not touch upon the subject of mathematics. It is receiving ample attention and is rapidly becoming an instrument for living teaching in our schools. I would think, yes, you do need to touch upon this subject. Tell me more. I need more of this. And I want to know how to make it an instrument for living teaching in my school. Well, I was thrilled to find out when Rochelle started researching Charlotte Mason's approach to math and teaching math. I started reading her blog and finding out all about the things that she was discovering. So, Rochelle, I would like you to share with us what brought you to the point of researching about Charlotte Mason's method of teaching math. Right. I was homeschooling my two boys when I realized that my oldest son was what Charlotte called a good arithmetician. He could apply the rules, but he couldn't see the reason behind them. Mm -hmm. But I think even more disturbing was the fact that he was getting high marks on his worksheets and his exams, but math had gone from his most loved subject to his most hated subject. Mm. And it was at about the same time that we were reading Heidi as our bedtime read out loud. Yes. And I remembered that Charlotte had called mathematics a mountainous land, and it was every bit as vigorous and health-giving to the student as the Swiss Alps were to our little Swiss heroine, Heidi. So at that point, I set out to discover just exactly what was this living teaching of math that she had mentioned. And how did you, where did you go yes. to find all of this, since mm -hmm. it wasn't in her original writings, right. Where did you find it? Well, first, of course, I, I combed through her writings, yes. and there isn't a lot. I went to the Parents Review articles, but then I actually started finding and just scouring libraries and archives for every single book that she had ever mentioned and used, and then I went through page by page according to her schedules to find out what was taught, when it was taught, and actually it was quite revealing because that showed how it was taught even by looking at her scope and sequence. And the results of all that research are in your book, Mathematics, an Instrument for Living Teaching. It gives the scope and sequence and the results of all of this information that Rochelle was able to discover. An enlightening point in my research was when I uncovered the actual pamphlet that Irene Stevens, who was a guest lecturer in mathematics at Ambleside in 1911, had written. And this pamphlet was the handbook for teachers and parents alike to teach their children elementary arithmetic. So this is the one that Charlotte recommended her teachers and her parents in the schooling used. It did. And what happens is in volume one, Charlotte mentions Sonnen Shine's ABC for arithmetic. Yes. And so people will go out and they will find that, a reproduction of that, and they will try to teach their child using that book. Mm -hmm. But what I discovered was that within a few years of using this book, they actually stopped using the book because it wasn't giving them the living teaching that followed the rest of Charlotte's principles. So what Irene Stevens did was she set out step by step to show the parents how to do this. Wow. So what stood out to you from all that research? What really stood out to me was just how simple, effective, and enjoyable the teaching of arithmetic could be. Mm -hmm. And anyone can teach their child elementary arithmetic without the use of an expensive curriculum or manipulatives, hmm. or without it being overburdening or taxing to mother. I see. I remember you talking about when you were teaching your son that you would just grab your book Right. and open it to whatever page, whatever skill you were teaching next, and mm -hmm. use it as a guide instead of an actual curriculum. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so there's a chapter on elementary arithmetic in the book, and we have a set of a scope and sequence all laid out for you already. And so I would actually, we would have our manipulatives, things found in our own home, and I would simply open the page, say we were doing long division today, I would open the page to long division, give it a quick review so I knew what I was 
what I was going to be doing for the day, mm -hmm. and then begin with my child. Now, talking about Charlotte's philosophy and her methods is so helpful. I've enjoyed reading your blog. Reading your book has been such a help. We thought it might also be helpful to show you some hands-on demonstrations and have Rochelle actually demonstrate for you how Charlotte taught early arithmetic. It's all written out in the book, but we thought it might be helpful for you to see it in action. So that's what we're going to accomplish over these next few demonstrations for you. We hope you'll enjoy it.